What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2022 Showdown Live. Now, today I want to test out a duo that did really really well in my uh, Moxie Boosted Brawl number one, which was a ladder tournament I hosted last week, and that is a Solgaleo Palkia duo, uh, no, I can't speak, duo, uh, and the reason I want to use this is because I am looking for a new... I guess duo to main if that makes sense. It feels weird saying you have a main in Pokemon, but uh, I recently tried to use Zygarde Zacian as, you know, the team that I used in the um, in the VR tournament, and it just did not go well. I like played pretty bad. I think it was more me than the team. I think the team is pretty well constructed because I'm able to pick up wins pretty consistently, but in the tournament I just played awful, and I want to make it very, very hard to play awful. I want to make a team that's super streamlined and super viable that anyone could pilot it, even someone dumb like me. So yeah, that's why we're using this combo. It seems pretty good. I'll get into the team in a second, but if you guys enjoy this video at any point in time, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications because I bring you daily VGC content. That's my comment question of the day. What do you think is the best steel type that isn't Zacian in the format? Could be Stack Attacka, could be Solgaleo, Dustman Necrozma. Let me know. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the video. Also, links to my Discord are, you know, down below if you guys want to keep updated with the channel, as well as check out links to my Patreon and my Twitch channel. I go live there uh, pretty much, like, what is it, like four times a week now? So, yeah, check all those out. But we're using a weakness policy, so Galio with zero speed and a brave nature. We're pretty specially defensive, but I am running uh, an adamant nature. Uh, basically, I want to be able to one-shot a lot of things at plus two, but the special defense allows me to tank like water spouts from modest uh, Mystic Water Kyogre. Obviously, if they're timid Mystic Water or if they're just not Mystic Water at all, I eat those up pretty easily. Uh, speaking of water resists, we actually have a Palkia here. And the Palkia is a Trick Room setter, but I am running four speed into it. That's because a lot of other Palkia want to set up Trick Room as well. And I do have enough special attack where I can pretty easily outspeed them if they're, you know, running zero speed and just knock them out so they're a non-issue for the rest of the match. Basically, they're like, hey, you know, I'm a Palkia, I'll set up the Trick Room, and then they just get one shot by Spatial Rend. You know, granted, I don't miss. Why does this move have a chance to miss? It's a signature move. Like, we can't have Astral Barrage exist and then, like, let Spatial Rend miss. Like, that's just dumb. Uh, but yeah, we're also running Hydro Pump, the other move that misses. Palkia is probably going to be a decent Dynamax target if we don't want to miss. Protect and Trick Room. With enough physical defense where a Intimidated Zacian, therefore a Zacian at neutral, uh, will actually not one-shot us with Play Rough if it's a Jolly Max Attack one. We have a standard uh, Mental Herb, Trick Room, Mimikyu. We have standard Citrus Berry and Cinderor. We got a pretty bulky G-Max Venusaur with a Life Orb. Uh, and a lot of speed, so we can ask be Regieleki, and we are running a uh, pretty defensive Torkoal. This is like the Torkoal spread I've ran on like 90% of my team, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. I've been playing a couple of test matches before I record this. I'm on my main, and my main's dropped for, you know, a ton of points, but um, I managed to recover. I think I was at like 1,080, like that's how bad it dropped, and now I am at... Uh, 1275. So we're going to try to hit 1300 and higher, maybe 1400 if we get a lot of games today. But let's go ahead and do it. This team has been super, super streamlined. It's very easy to pilot. And I just want to make it idiot proof, you feel? You know? But yeah. So far, Solgaleo plus Palkia has been a very fun team for me. Uh, as they're running Kyogre, Calyrex, what I would argue is like probably like second or third best combo of Pokemon in the format. Maybe even the best if it like gets developed further, but I, I think it's really, really good. Um, for this matchup, I actually love my Solgaleo. I might even just lead off with it. Like, I don't know. Like, is there really a reason not to? <laughs> Let me think. Torkoal is probably going to be really nice. Uh, I have to be kind of careful with the Araquanid, but obviously being able to set up the sun to reduce damage from that Kyogre could be very, very useful. I could even just lead off with Torkoal here, <clears throat> and it wouldn't be that bad. Um, Incineroar is also looking pretty decent, but I don't want to bring two fire types to this. Uh, Palkia is definitely coming to this match. So here's what I think I'm going to do. Um, I think I'm going to lead off with a... Ooh, I don't want to boost like the Heat Wave power on a, a Zapdos is the issue if it's running that. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to go Solgaleo plus Mimikyu, because I can actually burn that Calyrex if I really need to. Uh, I'm going to actually bring the... Uh, I'm going to bring the Torkoal in the back, and I think my last mon's going to have to be Palkia. <laughs> okay, this isn't that bad, actually. 
Um, I should always get off a Trick Room and like, yeah, I'm going to take a decent amount of damage here. Uh, but I would say that I don't mind giving up my Torkoal in order to significantly reduce the damage that my uh, <laughs> that my Solgaleo is going to take here. I could even just get Torkoal in right now and Trick Room with Mimikyu pretty easily because Mimikyu should take the double up. Yeah, I don't think Expanding Force takes it out from this range. Mimikyu's got like a decent special defense stat and I am running max HP. Yeah, 105. Yeah, I, I should take this if I do this. All right. As my roommate's coughing outside my window. Oh, nice. Okay, that's actually great because I get the Torkoal off the field and at no expense to myself, I now have Solgaleo on the field. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and max Quake the Kyogre. There's a pretty decent chance they're just going to go ahead and follow me. However, I don't want to have my... Do I do I want Palky on the field right now? Is that worth it? I could try to go for the side shadow sneak. That'd be really, really nice. But if you don't know, um, side targeting priority moves go through Psychic Train. But if you follow me, it's, it could be kind of bad. Um, I could just try to get Palky on the field. You know what? No. I'm going to go for it. That's fine. I still get the special defense boost, so I have a couple of opportunities. There's the water spout. It's going to bounce off of both these Pokemon. And now I'm actually going to Steel Spike because I don't want the Calyrex to come in and ruin my day. And I will get the Palkia in on the, on the field now. It looks like they might be choice locked. They're not. Don't burn me. Okay. Because <laughs> I was going to say, I don't know why they would water spot twice there in the sun. Uh, Scald is probably smarter in that situation. There's the zap. Uh, Max Mindstorm. It, you know, it probably doesn't one shot this thing, but it's definitely not going to like it. I'm actually going to go ahead and go for the double here. I think Max Mindstorm Spatial Rend isn't a bad play. This is going to do a ton. Yeah, there we go. Crit. Can I crit? Not quite, but... Ooh, they do have the Max Flare. I should tank that, though. And I do have another turn of Trick Room, and they are Life Orbs, so they're kind of in trouble here. If you guys want to see an epic gamer play, check this out. You ready? You're not ready for this. He's going to protect here, because he wants to get one more attack off with his Zapdos. Come on, Max Guard. You know you want it. You know you want a Max Guard. I need this epic gamer play to feel like I succeeded in life. Because Scald will never KO me from this range. It's, it like did 7% last time, so it's going to do 14. Protect. There we go. Hey, welcome to the Trick House. <laughs> Shout out to Envy. Welcome to the Trick House, guys. Uh, yeah, I can just Psychic Fangs this Kyogre uh, for really, really good damage. And I can go for the Spatial Rend to KO this Zapdos. Hopefully I don't miss. I get a crit too. <laughs> I think that's game. I'm going to say that's game. Yeah. Oh, he said well played. <laughs> I'm really happy we could start it off that way. I mean, he's already gone, but I will I will type in the the memorial GG. Okay. That was awesome. That was really, really fun. Whenever I do sign like that in the video, I always have to make sure I'm recording. I'm like, I, there's no way I missed that. I forget what the play was exactly, but a long time ago, I had like a really crazy play that worked out in my favor and I wasn't recording. <laughs> Ooh, hey, thank you so much. All right, so because he's got two dark types and a Rayquaza, I'm going to say that this is probably the Water Urshifu. I think Water Urshifu is actually best on Rayquaza teams strictly because it lets you bypass Sun and then deal a ton of damage to uh, Groudon. Uh, I should be able to pretty easily get off a Trick Room because of that. So I'm going to go ahead and go with Solgaleo Mimikyu. You could also go with uh, Incineroar Mimikyu to make it a little bit safer. You know, I can do that. I actually, I think I do that. Incineroar, Mimikyu, Solgaleo. Uh, and I kind of want to bring Torkoal, but Palkia is also not a bad idea in this matchup. Uh, Torkoal is good specifically because it like is able to just hit everything really hard. But I think the fact that there's a Water Urshifu, likely, you know, across the field makes me want to bring the Palkia instead. Yep. And this is why it's safe, because Zacian can't Dynamax, therefore he has no way of stopping the Trick Room from going off. So I always just do this. And I've also intimidated the Rayquaza. 
It could be special. Um, and if it Dynamaxes, we have no way of telling. There's the Incineroar, that's fine. Get my Fake Out off. Earth Power, okay, it is special, which is gonna, that is going to inform our play on this next turn. I think what I can do here is rather than, I think rather than side Shadow Sneak immediately, I definitely want a Parting Shot this Rayquaza. Or I, could, I mean, he's probably just going to fake out the Incineroar anyways. I just don't want him to get a free KO on me here. Uh, duh, 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 duh. You know what? Let's do it. It's it's a little bit risky, but let's do it. Nice. Okay. There's the fake out. We got it. We got it. And now I always go for the max quakes onto the Incineroar because we also hard wall the Lization like, pretty freely. Um, or actually, maybe I don't just because it can parting shot really, really easily right now. So maybe I'll just max steel spike the Grim Snarl and I'll go for a little bit of a go for a little bit of a risky Will O Wisp there, trying to catch whatever might come in. It's probably going to be the Rayquaza. Or actually, I mean, I could just take a lot of advantage here by just play roughing and steel spiking. I could have quaked. Doesn't really matter though. He goes for a Thunder Wave and misses. Honestly, I don't mind that. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't hate a thunder wave like obviously it wouldn't be great but i would underspeed the incineroar as there's his rayquaza i don't think it really takes this double up like ever and also i'm not getting ko'd by a flare blitz because it did 32 last time uh so i'm gonna double up or i could also now there's two turns of trick room left so i think i go incineroar here and i just steel spike Because that reduces damage from everything. And Zacian does not take this hit well. Like, at all. <laughs> yeah, I get the K on the Zacian. Which means that my... <laughs> my, um... Palky is a lot safer now. And... Informed by the fact that it is a special Rayquaza, it, I am partial to parting shotting here. And going for the Quake. As he fake outs, that's fine. I get a special defense boost on my Incineroar, which means I can just snarl for the rest of this game. And we'll do that. We'll do just that. I also don't need my Solgaleo to win anymore because Mimikyu exists. So we'll Sun Steel Strike here. I don't need a Trick Room. Or I guess there's no harm in going for it. It just makes the win con easier. That's fine. We get the Snarl off. I Snarl. I Trick Room. Nice. And now, I just do this. Because he can't e-speed me, because I'm a ghost type. So that should be game. GG. Nice. Okay. So we've reached the 1300s, which is pretty awesome. This team already feels so much more usable than Zygarde, you know? Like, I feel so much more comfortable running this. And I think that's just because it's like it's very flow charty. You already know what to do versus like everything. Um, obviously, the Amoongus is a little bit annoying because I am missing safety goggles on literally everything on the team. And I don't have any terrain. <laughs> so I, I could opt to run like safety goggles and Cinerer. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Actually, that's probably going to be ideal. Let me do that. The, the I mean, the berry is not really helping us versus Calyrex anyway. So let's do safety. Okay. Uh, this also makes me want to bring the Torkoal to this matchup. I should be able to do this. Yeah. Uh, no need for Palkia in this one. Palkia, while it is pretty decent versus a lot of these things, uh, basically, I get more value out of Torkoal for removing rain and having a better matchup versus uh, Amoongus, since it's a... since I should be slower. 22, yeah. So I should always be slower. Uh, I always am able to get off a Trick Room here. And I actually might... I might not even fake out. Maybe I... Dude, maybe I actually just like KO this Amoongus with like Flare Blitz. Because I can get off the Trick Room later with Solgaleo and Torkoal. Like it's it's easy. It's, it's pretty easy. Uh, I'm going to go for it. This might be a little bit risky. 
But I would think here he doesn't protect and just goes for a, like a taunt. Critical hit. Oh, that definitely KOs it. I'm not slower than you, right? Don't let me be slower than you. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah okay. He still got the sleep off because the icy win. That was kind of that was kind of clean, actually. That was pretty smart. Um, but I should always be able to get off the trick room. Icy Wind makes me think he doesn't have Taunt, especially since he didn't click it on Mimikyu, but he could also be calling the the Mental Herb. That's always a possibility. Uh, but sign to note is... Oh, there's the Zacian. Yeah, let me think. Uh, this should be pretty easy to get the Trick Room off. Because I, I think I actually just Parting Shot on the Zacian and try to Trick Room here, even though it's not going to work. Because he probably wants to get rid of Mimikyu. He's definitely thinking like, ah, yeah, you know, the Mimikyu, it's going to set up the Trick Room. If I don't get rid of it, and it could be annoying with Will-O-Wisp and such. Is he Sacred Swords? That's still fine. Because now, now I get in the Solgaleo. And this is where we get on, this is where we get the Trick Room off. And I can attempt a Will-O-Wisp, I think. I don't want to switch in the Torkoal just yet. Yeah, I really hope that this guy doesn't actually have Taunt on this guy. But he hasn't clicked it yet, so... Alright, that's fine, yeah. No, we're good. Because I got off the Trick Room. And now this is pretty safe. Uh, he has no Amoongus, so I can click Eruption pretty safely here. And I'm also going to Max Quake the Zacian, because I'm going to get a Special Defense Boost on my Torkoal. Or maybe I... Maybe... It's not really worth it to hit the no. It's it's not worth it to call the switch into the <laughs> to call the switch into the the uh, Kyogre yet, and that's fine. Yeah, like Torkoal still does heaps of damage to Zacian, and he's not going to stay in. So this is still a very safe eruption. Yeah, he has to give up Zacian here, and I still have three turns to Trick Room. Because if he gets in the Torkoal, then he just, like, loses. And there's a special defense boost. Hurricane. Eat that up. Eat it up, eat it up, eat it up. And Reese's Puffs. Such a phenomenal cereal. Such a phenomenal cereal, man. Um, Eruption still... Or it's, it's... There's not really a need to click Heat Wave and risk a miss. Eruption's still pretty strong. I kind of want to call the max guard, but it's not worth it. Okay, he just goes for a regular protect, which is fine. Alright, and now my play is to yawn the Kyogre. And I am going to... He could max geyser me, obviously. I think I KO the Tornadus, though. Do I get two shot here? That's my question. I don't know if I get two shot. Oh, he went for the Torkoal. That's game. That's game. If he doesn't crit me this next turn, he loses because I just spam Psychic Fangs. Max Lightning. Oh, that's actually pretty... Oh, yeah, that was pretty smart. But Rain goes away this turn, so... Yep. Uh, let me... I think I Trick Room here, and then the next turn I just one-shot him. Poggers. Yeah. GG. Or I don't one-shot him, but I take the hit, because he's, you know, not Dynamaxed. Origin Pulse would hurt, but it doesn't hurt nearly as much as, you know, anything else. I forgot I never activated my Weakness Policy. I'm so used to one-shotting things with Solgaleo that for a minute I was like, oh, my Weakness Policy. Ooh, ooh, okay, yeah. He needs a double protect to win. Let's see if he gets it. I got a 70% chance to win here. Just gonna point out math. Uh, okay, the universe was not in my... Actually, I can still win. The rain's gone. How much did he do last time? 27? In the rain? Alright, if he doesn't crit, I win. Let's go! <laughs> so, Galio, thank you!
Thank you, GG. Oh, uh, this is such a fun team. This is a really fun team. Okay, all right, Palkiazation. Uh, this is this is a really good matchup, actually. Yeah, I have to like deal with the Amoongus, but Safety Goggles and Cinema makes that so much safer. I'm kind of tempted to put Taunt on my Incineroar for Amoongus instead of Snarl. But Snarl's just really, really good in this format. Um, Yeah, I'll go with the safe combo. And I'm going to leave Palkia at home and bring Torkoal again. I haven't brought Venusaur once. I don't know what matchup Venusaur is going to be useful in, but I put a Torkoal on this team and that like requires his babysitter. <laughs> like you gotta bring the babysitter with. It's Venusaur's part-time job beyond, you know, gardening. Alright. Um Bold, bold prediction here. But I'm gonna say he's gonna trick room on my trick room. And that that's a very bold prediction, I have to be honest with you guys. Actually, there's there's no reason to risk it. Because he can't stop my trick room without Dynamaxing, and then he doesn't reverse it, so... Yeah, no, that's fine. I understood the risk. Parting shot? Nah, Flare Blitz. Okay, that's fine. I do get burned, which actually works in my favor, funny enough. Because now I can Quake that slot. Max Quack, and I can side Shadow Sneak. Yeah, the, the the burn unironically works in my favor. Or actually, maybe I can use his Incineroar. Nah, I don't want to. I don't want to take more damage than I need to. I was gonna say, <laughs> maybe I get in my Torkoal here to reduce the damage from Palkia, but it it doesn't matter. I should be slower since I'm zero speed. Also, this is Life Orb. I don't know why you run Life Orb Palkia, to be honest. The the Lustrous Orb does, like, relatively the same damage. It, it might be for one particular calc. Like, there might be some intention behind that. But I guess he could have Quake. That makes sense. Alright. And thank you. Thank you, sir. There's the Quack. Amoongus? Where are you? If you didn't bring the Amoongus, that'd be hilarious. I kind of hope there's no Amoongus. Okay, yeah, it's just grim. It's just grim. So what I'm going to do here is... I think I literally just go for the Quake into the Palkia. And get in my Torkoal here. Do I do that? Uh, actually, no. Do I? I? This is kind of a rough call. I never, I never get KO'd by this because he does 34. I'm kind of tempted to quake the Grim Snarl and get in my coal. Scary fit. Ooh, yo, based. Alright, I get that. Uh, Palkia is definitely not slower than Torkoal. Right? <laughs> 94 divided by 2, that's like 47. And I'm 22, so... I'm always slower. So, under the assumption that he's literally just gonna... KO my Solgaleo... I could yawn here... Actually, there's no reason to really make this call. Is there? Uh, mm. When I come back out, I should be faster than the Palkia. So I could yawn the Palkia here and get a Mimikyu and then threaten to burn after the Protect. Despite losing my boosts, it might be worth it if I put it to sleep. 
This might be a throw, though. Okay. 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 Yo, I think we won. <laughs> I think that won us the game. Uh, there's no need to will-o'-wisp that Zacian. It just dies to uh, an eruption. So I'm going to go for the play rough and the eruption. And Mimikyu should go down this turn, if not something else, and then I just get in my Solgaleo and win. Obviously, he can double protect, but at that point... Nah, he does get the double protect. That sucks. That sucks. Uh, but it doesn't help him too much, as long as I just keep clicking Eruption, like, indiscriminately here. There's also no reason... Actually, there is a reason not to Trick Room, because the Palkia is slower. What am I saying? I'm going to Psychic Fangs here, and I'm going to Eruption. And if it stays asleep long enough, maybe, but that double protect might have won in the game. I mean, I, I think I played pretty perfectly. But sometimes the double protect will just get you there. Or maybe he'll think I protect. No? Okay. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm losing to this, to this Palkia. That sucked. Man. <laughs> Man, that double protect. All right, crit. No. All right. Uh, check this out. Check this out. This is this is my gamer play. Yawn again. Oh, he stays. Okay. Yawn again. As he lands Elijah Bum. Okay, GG. Dang. Okay, yeah, that double protect kind of sucked for me. It's whatever. Let's get another one. We'll do one more. We'll do one more. I managed to outplay the double protect last time, but not not so much luck this time. Okay. Um, what's our ladder, by the way? Thir thirteen twenty-eight. We were higher last time. Dang it. Okay, because what we were like thirteen forty something. We would have actually hit fourteen hundreds, I think, by the end of the video if I didn't lose that one. This just looks like straight up hyper offense, and I hate everything about it. Uh, but they have no counterplay to mimic you and Cineroar, Truthfully, I still bring the Solgaleo, and I still bring the Palkia. Yeah, they're just going to imprison my trick room, but like, what else? Like, like what else? They're, they're just going to imprison it. I don't care. Uh, I can snarl pretty freely. And I guess I'll play rough. Because I'm really only scared of this thing. All right. Show me the Imprison. Expanding for- Okay, so I could have Trick Roomed. Hopefully this KOs. Not quite. Not quite. Uh, dang. Okay. So I can't switch into Sogalio here yet, but I should be able to Snarl. I mean, I can try to Trick Room. I really doubt they let me, though. I thought they were just going to Imprison, because Imprison in DD is, like, really, really standard. Or at least in Dini Mail, like in prison is standard. There's this Asian crown. They might actually just let me trick room. Oh no, there it is. Um that's fine, I think. Because I can go for the Willow Wisp. If they let me Willow Wisp, we're fine. I'm gonna parting shot that Zacian. They're just calling all my plays right now. They're like, ah, he's gonna know I'm gonna imprison. So I'm just not gonna. And then I was wrong. You know. Sacred Sword. Let's see if I get it off. No, okay. I mean, I can just Quake now. And he has kind of a rough time versus that. Or... Actually... Actually... Oh, I can't Trick Room. I can't even click Trick Room. That's lame. I think they should let you click Trick Room and just have it fail. I think that'd be ideal uh, for competitive play. But I should be able to Quake here and Protect. Helping hand. Let's see if he play roughs. Yep. I don't think this KOs because I'm not at plus two. Yeah. Uh, but this boosting is going to help quite a bit. This also has a chance to miss. So I'm actually going to Quake the Indeedee now. And Trick Room. Find it weird. Why did it block it? Oh, does it only block one slot? Is that like an issue with the move? Oh, no. Okay. That's what it is. I was like, what? I was like, hello? Um... Yeah, I mean, I guess I go for the Quake here. Uh, he has a higher chance of... 
There's a higher chance of me gaining a double protect than there is of him missing. So I should always protect here and quake once more. And all my opponents get the double protect, but unfortunately, uh, your good friend Moxie Boosted does not. Caloric Shadow. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just quake again. He's going to help me. That doesn't KO me. There's definitely a Cinderace in the back. I'm going to say that right now. There's probably a Cinderace in the back. There it is. Yeah, okay. Uh, I can try to Trick Room, but... <laughs> Oh wait, no, I can't. Why am I so stupid? Earthquake? Yeah, GG. Dang it, dude. All right, that's fine. I, th I think we did pretty good uh, in this session. Despite, you know, the last two matches not being a win, I will say we did pretty good. I, I enjoy this team quite a bit and I think it's pretty viable. Uh, one match was a loss due to a double protect and the other one, my opponent legit just outplayed me. So if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications. And yeah, uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.